In the context of AI governance, what does algorithmic transparency mean? A. The ability of an AI system to operate without human intervention. B. Making the data used by an AI algorithm publicly available. C. The process of making the functionality of AI algorithms clear to end users. D. Ensuring that AI algorithms can be audited and reviewed by regulatory bodies. Correct answer. C. The process of making the functionality of AI algorithms clear to end users. Which AI principle emphasizes the need for AI systems to operate in a manner that is fair and does not discriminate against any individual or group? A. Reliability. B. Fairness. C. Privacy. D. Accountability. Correct answer. B. Fairness. A company uses AI to screen job applicants. The AI model disproportionately rejects candidates from a certain region. What type of risk does this scenario exemplify? A. Privacy risk. B. Security risk. C. Bias risk. D. Compliance risk. Correct answer. C. Bias risk. What is a key consideration when implementing AI in a healthcare setting to ensure ethical use? A. Maximizing the profitability of AI applications. B. Prioritizing treatment based on the algorithm's efficiency. C. Ensuring AI decisions are explainable to patients and practitioners. D. Focusing solely on patient data privacy. Correct answer. C. Ensuring AI decisions are explainable to patients and practitioners. Which of the following best describes the concept of ethical AI? A. AI that operates within the bounds of law, but not necessarily within ethical guidelines. B. AI developed with the primary goal of maximizing efficiency, regardless of social impact. C. AI that is designed and deployed in a way that respects ethical norms and values. D. AI that has its own sense of morals and ethics. Correct answer. C. AI that is designed and deployed in a way that respects ethical norms and values. In AI governance, what is the purpose of a privacy impact assessment? PIA. A. To assess the financial impact of implementing AI technologies. B. To determine the AI system's accuracy and reliability. C. To evaluate how AI applications affect individual privacy rights and compliance with privacy laws. D. To measure the environmental impact of AI systems. Correct answer. C. To evaluate how AI applications affect individual privacy rights and compliance with privacy laws. An AI system designed for loan approval is found to have a higher rejection rate for applicants from specific demographic groups. What immediate action should the governing body take? A. Ignore the findings as coincidental. B. Increase the dataset size without reviewing its composition. C. Conduct a thorough audit of the AI system to identify and correct biases. D. Focus solely on improving the AI system's overall approval rate. Correct answer. C. Conduct a thorough audit of the AI system to identify and correct biases. When deploying an AI system internationally, what must be considered to ensure compliance with global AI governance standards? A. The system's ability to operate in multiple languages. B. Ensuring the AI system adheres to the strictest set of regulations it may encounter. C. Customizing the AI behavior to match local market trends. D. The cost of implementing the AI system across different regions. Correct answer. B. Ensuring the AI system adheres to the strictest set of regulations it may encounter. A tech company plans to release an AI-powered tool that predicts consumer buying behavior. Which ethical consideration is paramount? A. Ensuring the tool generates the highest possible profit. B. Guaranteeing the accuracy of predictions for all consumer groups. C. Prioritizing consumer privacy and consent in data collection and analysis. D. Focusing on minimizing the tool's operational costs. Correct answer. C. Prioritizing consumer privacy and consent in data collection and analysis. What role does data minimization play in AI governance? A. It encourages collecting as much data as possible to improve AI accuracy. B. It limits the collection of data to what is directly relevant and necessary to accomplish a specified purpose. C. It involves storing data indefinitely to future-proof AI systems. D. It prioritizes the use of third-party data over first-party data. Correct answer. B. It limits the collection of data to what is directly relevant and necessary to accomplish a specified purpose. In the deployment of autonomous vehicles, which AI governance principle ensures the vehicles operate safely and reliably in diverse conditions? A. Scalability B. Transparency C. Robustness and safety D. Innovation. Correct answer. C. Robustness and safety. A multinational corporation uses AI for global supply chain optimization. What is a key consideration to ensure ethical AI governance across different jurisdictions? A. Focusing solely on the efficiency gains regardless of local regulations. B. Customizing AI operations to bypass local labor laws. C. Ensuring compliance with international human rights and labor standards. D. Prioritizing speed of deployment over thorough ethical review. Correct answer. C. Ensuring compliance with international human rights and labor standards. 
What is the significance of auditability in AI systems? A. It ensures that AI systems can operate independently without human oversight. B. It allows for the examination of AI systems to ensure they function as intended and adhere to ethical and legal standards. C. It guarantees that AI systems are financially viable. D. It focuses on the AI system's ability to pass technical performance tests. Correct answer. B. It allows for the examination of AI systems to ensure they function as intended and adhere to ethical and legal standards. An AI application is designed to personalize online learning experiences. What ethical concern must be addressed to protect student privacy? A. Ensuring all content is accessible to every student. B. The application's ability to adapt to different learning styles. C. The potential for unauthorized access to sensitive student data. D. Maximizing the application's profitability for the educational institution. Correct answer. C. The potential for unauthorized access to sensitive student data. How should an AI governance framework address the risk of unintended consequences in AI deployment? A. By focusing exclusively on intended use cases without considering potential misuse. B. Through comprehensive risk assessments that include scenario planning and stakeholder feedback. C. By assuming that AI developers will self-regulate and address any issues that arise. D. Solely by implementing technical safeguards without considering ethical implications. Correct answer. B. Through comprehensive risk assessments that include scenario planning and stakeholder feedback. An organization uses AI for resume screening. Post-deployment, it's noted that the system shows bias against certain groups. What is the best immediate corrective action? A. Discontinue the use of AI for resume screening. B. Adjust the AI system to compensate with affirmative action. C. Review and revise the AI model and training data to eliminate bias. D. Increase the diversity of the hiring team instead of relying on AI. Correct answer. C. Review and revise the AI model and training data to eliminate bias. Which scenario illustrates the ethical principle of AI? Justice. A. An AI system offers the same level of service to all users, regardless of their background. B. An AI application is used to predict stock market trends with high accuracy. C. A chatbot provides 24-7 customer service. An AI tool efficiently allocates resources in a supply chain. Correct answer. A. An AI system offers the same level of service to all users, regardless of their background. In AI governance, what does the principle of proportionality entail? A. The AI system's impact must be proportional to the investment made. B. AI applications must only be deployed in proportion to their tested reliability. C. The benefits of AI must be balanced against potential harm and risks. D. AI development efforts must be proportional to the expected market size. Correct answer. C. The benefits of AI must be balanced against potential harm and risks. What is a primary concern when using AI in predictive policing? A. Maximizing the efficiency of law enforcement agencies. B. Ensuring that eye predictions do not exacerbate existing biases or inequalities. C. Reducing the costs associated with traditional policing methods. D. Enhancing the public image of the police force. Correct answer. B. Ensuring that eye predictions do not exacerbate existing biases or inequalities.